Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in again, hope you're all doing good. Right, another new bike day, I'm sorry, not sorry, but I did want to take this opportunity to ask you guys a really important question, right? What do you guys think of e-bikes? So I have a lot of friends that ride bikes a lot, and those include e-bikes. But whenever they post a picture of themselves on social media, on their e-bike, it's always the same like narrative. There's always statements like, e-bikes are for lazy people, e-bikes are for old people, e-bikes are for fat people, e-bikes are for, basically like there's a real negative stigma attached to e-bikes. But I actually think this is only on the internet because e-bikes are wicked, they're loads of fun. They're great for everyone. You don't have to be old, suffering from health issues, like all this stuff to enjoy an e-bike. They're just for people that like riding bikes. For me, it's very simple. More people on bikes is a good thing. And what we shouldn't do is we shouldn't go on the internet and slag people off for what bike they're riding. I know I have a lot of banter between like disc brakes, rim brakes, like carbon steel, all this stuff. It doesn't matter what you're riding, as long as you're out on the bike and you're having fun. So as this video is on the internet, obviously I'd expect some people to be like, e-bikes are just for old people. But I wanna know your opinion. Are e-bikes just for old people or are they for everybody? Because I've got a new e-bike and I'm a little bit old. I'm nearly 43. Does that make me like old? I'm not really sure. I've got no idea what this bike is. It is an askew. I don't think you can even see the label, but I'm going to pull it out, throw away a load of this packaging. Ugh. So we're going to unbox this bike. I've got no idea what it is. I think it is a pro model of one of the other versions that I had, I believe. The one thing that we can all agree on on e-bikes is they're really heavy, aren't they? So much heavier than your standard bike, but then that's because they have a motor and a big battery and they're quite zoomy. And this is why I like them, because on days like today, so for the past six days, I've gone to the gym every day. I've been riding my bike every day and my body is sore. I mean, it's a nice sore, but because I do all this stuff, sometimes I'm a little bit sore to ride a bike and I want to ride a bike, but I can't because I'm too tired. And this is where e-bikes come in. Another good thing actually about e-bikes is if you're riding with a little one and you use like a towy or some sort of like trailer hitch thing, e-bikes are amazing, you know? You carry an extra weight, it takes a little bit of the strain off the ride, and it means that you can enjoy yourself with your little one rather than it just be a complete grind. And that's why I like e-bikes. Not every ride has to be brutally hard. And when you live somewhere really hilly, e-bikes can come in very handy. This is the Askew Newtono, Newtono, how do you pronounce this? You guys can like, give me some phonetics. Look, this is this is what bike it is, it's this bike. See, this is the bike. Newtono Pro Electric Mountain Bike. It has a Bafang hub motor, 250 watts, 80 newton meters, a removable battery of 522 watts, max battery range, 80 miles, and the recommended height is five foot two to six foot. I'm six foot one. So this is the thing with like the more affordable e-bikes. I mean, I say affordable, it's still like 1,300 pounds. But you notice there's like less size choice in these. Your size adjustment for five foot two to six foot two is basically the seat post. So if you're five foot two, it's there. If you're six foot two, oh my God. So it's cute, whoever's putting your bikes together, you might want to tell them to put a little bit of grease on the seat post because look, this is, this is loose, this clamp. <laughs> so if you are an old person, you might not be able to put your seat up because, oh my God, what is going on? Right, we're gonna have to fix that later. I don't have the energy to deal with that right now, but on the plus side, we know that it's not gonna slip down when we're riding. So the last skew I had, whilst it was not like the most aesthetically pleasing bike, it was actually a damn good bike, you know. And as this is the Pro model, I'm expecting a little bit more from this one. Today we're just doing an unboxing because honestly, even this being an electric bike, today is my rest day. Yesterday I was at the Vela Park testing out the big track bike gear in. So that video will be out on Saturday, so you get to enjoy me completely blowing my knees apart with a gigantic gearing down at the Vela Park. So for now, we're just gonna unbox this and build it up and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. So one of the really good things about these bikes is they're incredibly easy to set up and build. I mean, it's not really a build. You're putting the front wheel on, the handlebars on, and some pedals, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and then you have to plug it in to charge it. So the only thing left to do is put the bars on. Whilst I'm doing that, here's a few shots of the bike and I'm gonna talk you through a few of the components. So this is set up as a one by, I mean, honestly, I don't know, do e-bikes come as two bys? I don't think there's any reason for an e-bike to come as a two by. So it has this nice chunky chainring up the front and it's got this funky thing where when you back pedal, the chainring stays put and the pedals don't. Right, and then you've got your motor, which is mounted down by the bottom bracket, which means the weight is evenly distributed. Nine speed cassette on the rear. So it has an L2 rear mech on it. 
L2 is a Chinese brand, they make components, things, there's some very high-end stuff now, as well as these entry-level versions. I've yet to hear anything bad about L2, actually. You have these 27.5-inch Kenda knobbly tyres that can handle all-terrain, and they're laced to a set of ER Rainbow DX3000 rims. Um, never heard of them, I'm sure they're more than adequate. It's got a very comfy plush saddle. The battery is removable, you get a key with it. So if you don't want to have your whole bike in the house, you want to leave your bike in the garage and just take the battery into charge. So it has cable pull disc brakes, not as great as hydraulic, but they do the job. It has a zoom suspension fork, which is hydraulic and spring, I believe, not just spring. And then it has an L2 shifter as well. And it does have all these like funky heads up display things and it's really cool belt. But I can't get it to work because I think the battery is actually flat. So I'm going to try and plug it in and see if we can get it a bit of charge and see what the display looks like. It's looking like there's not enough charge in it at all to even turn on. Which honestly I'm slightly disappointed in because I wanted to turn it on and have a look. Damn it. Right, so you do get a bunch of stuff in the box. You get your tool kit, you get your battery, you get some pedals, you get like a warranty card. So it's a warranty. And the price is £1,399. I'm not sure of the massive differences between this and the last one I tested, but this is slightly more expensive. I think it has got, like this, this motor is definitely different and the crank is definitely different. So maybe it's just like a, like with most bikes, you know, you get slightly better components on it for the next level up price. Yeah, I'm quite excited to give it a little test out. Yeah, very good lazy day bike. Like if you want to do your grocery shopping, you can put a pannier rack on there. It does come with mud guards, so you can like ride in the rain and not get a wet bum. And you know what, e-bikes do work in the rain, you know. Right, just a bit of a quick unboxing. Let me know what I should do on this bike. Do I go and ride it for the full 80 mile range? Do I do a little bit of a fun test? Do I take it down like the bike park and try and get some air on it? What would you guys like to see me do on it? And also, another question completely away from e-bikes. Should I do regular live streams? I've got all the stuff here to probably do live streams. And I'm always like, I'm denied about it. Like, would you guys tune in? Just like a turbo session, you know, we could ride together, or you could just shout abuse at me whilst I'm riding. Or would you not be interested? Let me know down below. So yeah, thank you to Escute for sending this over. I'm gonna give it a charge and take it out. Hopefully I can get this seat post up without uh, having a hernia. So there we go, another bike added to the collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know about the live streams. Let me know if you think e-bikes are just for lazy and old people or are they for everyone? I think cycling is just for everyone no matter what you ride. All right, remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.